Hello and welcome to this anime studio drawing tutorial. I'm going to show you how to draw some shapes and punch holes in them and maybe a couple of other things too. So first I'll draw a rectangle, change its fill color with the select shape tool, maybe a nice green color. And uh, now I want to put some objects in there that I'm going to use to punch the holes with. Uh, so I'll put a couple of stars in there and then select everything with the create shape tool here and uh, press the button up here for creating a shape go back to the same tool I used to adjust the fills and click on the fill of the first star click on it again press delete and sometimes it takes uh, two times of clicking on the fill and pressing delete to get the um, fill disappear. So now it's a compound path. I'm going to make another star here so you can see what's going on. Now if I move this over the top, I notice it is on top so we're going to change that to so it's in the back. Click on the same tool for changing the fill and then press the down arrow key and that puts it into the back. Now you're not limited to um, creating holes in your shape this one time. You can always go back and do it again. Now notice um, I want I don't want to change the background. I draw this star, it's blue. And if I combine those together it would change the green box to blue. So what we need to do is pick up the fill color of the box. Same tool used to change the fill color. Notice that it changes up here to green and then come back and select the shape and draw it in. Now I have a green circle instead of a blue one. And then come back and delete its color. Had to select it twice to delete. And there it is. It's see-through. You can also change a couple of different things, perspectives. Okay, so let's take a look at something else. Draw a shape here. Let's say they're on top of each other. They're going to be really hard to select. So Anime Studio has a way of selecting objects that are underneath. Click on the same tool to change the fill and change the fill color of the star. And let's say I want to get down to um, the circle. We'll hold down the tr control key and press the down arrow. And I can get to the circle. So right now I'm not clicking the shape with the mouse, I'm just pressing the control key and the up or down arrow key. Also as I'm doing that, if I wanted to bring up the circle, release the control key, and now it's in front of everything. And that's how you change the stacking order of objects on a layer or also just leaving the object there and maybe you want to change the color of it so that would work out that way okay maybe just one last thing look at changing the uh, width of the stroke do that with this tool here line width and just drag outward to make the stroke thicker or inward to make it thinner and also we can hide the uh, different parts of the stroke. Click on them. Click on it to hide it. Click on it again to bring it back. Also this tool will allow you to move the stroke in different ways. And also with this tool here, if we deselect everything, I can go back and just drag on one part of the line, make it thinner or thicker. 
Okay, maybe just one last thing here. Draw this out. And draw another shape on top. Make sure auto welds on. Hold down the alt key just so it doesn't get stuck to anything. Have these two shapes and I just want to hide this line here. Now I can go back, I want to group these together but um, I can go back to this tool and select everything and it makes kind of an undesired uh, object here. So it might be better to make a group because there would be different objects on this layer and um, I want to be able to select each one of them and move them around as opposed to clicking on the layers translate tool and moving the whole layer around which might not be what you want to do. So instead of doing that we can make a group. So select this marquee select points tool and select this object and then come up here and change uh, type in a name up here and click create and now there's a group in here called blog wanted to call it blob but there's um, you just can't come in here and change this and press enter because it will still be blog so what you have to do is make a new group then click create then go back and delete the one that you want not for sure on that but I think that's probably how it works create another one so now when I select either one of these uh, groups they can be moved around also you can put other objects in your group. And be able to select just um, certain parts. So this concludes this tutorial on how to do these things with line shapes and punching holes and I uh, hope this helps you out and I'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye now.